as software library for modeling and simulation of solar desalination systems. www.racelibrary.com Hi everybody, uh, Professor Muhammad Sharaf with you. Uh, we are going to talk about um, multi-fig distillation, parallel feed configuration. Uh, what is the concept of parallel feed configuration and how we can run our model and simply extract uh, our data. First of all, uh, multi-fig distillation uh, plants are widely used for the production of potable and processed water of course from sea and um, also brackish water uh, which represents the most economic distillation thermally uh, with respect to energy efficiency specific power consumption uh, because it's uh, relatively low pressure uh, uh, steam source around um, 0.3 bar, 0.5, 0.4 bar. Um, we are talking about uh, 60 degrees Celsius up to 70. Uh, for such configurations, uh, uh, allow us to uh, to going with some kind of process heat with MED uh, with relatively low uh, uh, boiling temperature comparing with multi-state finish. MED distillation uh, takes place in a series of effects or stages, widely uh, used effects, which are all equipped with heat exchanger pipe bundles. The raw water is sprayed onto these bundles, which are heated on uh, the inside by condensed steam. It has some features. The MED process operates relatively at low temperatures, which results in small medium sized plant sizes, uh, relatively low specific bulk consumption, uh, low scaling risks, low thermal energy consumption, and reduced operating costs. Um, as we can see here, this is a, a, a parallel feed configuration, which is a feed is divided equally between the effects. As we can see here, feed is sprayed equally uh, for each effect. It, the operating temperature not more than uh, 60 degrees, 65, 70, no more than this. Why, why MED parallel feed? Uh, after numerous uh, research activities about the operation, about the performance, Parallel feed uh, 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 achieved, uh, we can say, performance, higher performance ratio or gain ratio compared against uh, the other configurations because we have forward feed configuration, backward feed, and forward feed heaters. As we can see here, at, uh, uh, it's, it's achieved, it, it can achieve uh, 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 higher gain ratio with uh, uh, sharing with a, a forward feed heater uh, against for, uh, forward feed configuration and backward feed configuration and uh, it achieved uh, uh, more economical use related to thermal uh, desalination systems. Okay, how we can run our model? Uh, first of all, we have to set our path of uh, of your downloaded. Of course, after you you can after the user uh, downloading his uh, model, he has to go to the his the specific folder, and we are going to run our model from uh, the destination folder. Okay, the model will appear like this. Uh, this is multi effect distillation parallel feed. A brief description about it. Okay, let's go to the our model. Okay. First of all, this is a design model. So we have to specify or assign some inputs. Uh, beginning with operating conditions, 
some kind of impulse related to the design of MED, the end condenser, because we have here end condenser unit. Uh, let's emphasize a little bit. Okay. Uh, MED, uh, this is parallel feed configuration. So we have end condenser, uh, inlet feed equally uh, will, will be divided by each effect. This is the steam. And we are going to uh, specify some inputs. Okay, for operating conditions, we have to specify ambient temperature, its environment, seawater temperature, uh, top steam temperature. Uh, we have here, it's a, as we, as we uh, said before, it's around from 60 to 70, 80 degrees, no more, uh, in order to prevent scaling and some uh, uh, risks. For let it be uh, 70, and we can see for prime blue down temperature, it's around 40, it's okay. Sea water salinity, we are going to um, make it uh, 35,000 BM, BBM. Prime blue down, let it be uh, 68, it's around like this. For MED configuration, um, parallel feed for plant productivity, um, I'm going to assign 3,500 meter cube per day. Number of effects, let it be uh, eight effects. You can, uh, you have to enter number of effects uh, uh, as a matrix. You can enter it as a, mat as a matrix like this. Okay, or you have to say it, type it one for one to eight with brackets or without brackets. Okay, some design uh, uh, considerations like packing density, vapor velocity, I will keep it shell diameter, tube shell diameter. Okay, for the end condenser, we have uh, effectiveness because this is a design consideration. Um, some design, uh, some design uh, considerations like uh, condenser outer tube, uh, chill diameter, and, and so on. Bumping efficiency: you have three bumping systems: blow down bump, distal bump, uh, uh, and uh, brine uh, and uh, feed bump. Okay, hit apply. Okay, let's go to the our model. Okay. This is a, a MED block here. We can run our model. Okay, our data results are uh, the user are going to uh, discover the following a steam mass flow rate. This steam mass flow rate it's important because uh, sometimes you have to. Uh, combine such configuration with uh, uh, with other similar processes like solar ranking cycle, uh, solar organic ranking cycle. So the extraction from the turbine unit, uh, uh, we, I, I mean, we are going to consider MED as a, a condenser related to the solar organic ranking cycle. So uh, steam mass flow rate will decide uh, the flow rate across the, the, the ranking cycle. We have a feed profile for each effect because this is uh, equally divided, the feed is equally divided. So we have here uh, the feed flow rate, sure, with each effect. Suppose we are going to uh, changing steam. Uh, let it be 65 degrees. Apply, okay. Let's run our model again. We have to watch this. Okay, the steam mass flow rate is changed. Okay, so uh, T steam uh, normally can 
contribute its effect on uh, uh, steam mass flow rate. So we have also a distal profile, we have brine profile, uh, this is mass flow rate, and salinity profile. User can uh, inspect the condensed pressure, uh, insolving of the condensed pressure, entropy of the condensed pressure, because we are going to use this, this value with exergetic analysis. This is, of course, uh, uh, this is uh, brine profile, brine temperature profile, effect by effect. This is the first effect, second, third, and so on. This is the last effect. This is the assigned brine temperature. Okay, we can inspect again. Suppose we are going to with 75. Okay. Okay, the brain profile is, uh, is changed from 60s, around 60s to uh, uh, 70s because we increased the, the top steam temperature. This is a normal increasing. This is, of course, followed by uh, vapor, this vapor temperature profile, and this is distillate uh, uh, temperature profile, uh, uh, and so on. This is pressure per each effect in kilopascal. So, and this is our gear issue because we are going to, uh, we are already operating uh, eight effects. So it's normally around seven, uh, uh, seven uh, uh, value. Okay, this is area profile, uh, tube profile, and so on. This is our, uh, this is the end condenser. This is the end condenser unit. As you can see here, uh, feed flow rate, uh, cooling water flow rate, the total cooling water flow rate, um, related, of course, to the productivity. Uh, let's change our productivity. Suppose we are going to change our productivity. 4545, it's normally used. And let's run again. Okay. Okay, the the, uh, the total feed flow rate is changed. Uh, the, we have here feed temperature, distillate temperature, uh, condenser into condenser area, tube lens, number of tubes, and so on. And as you can see here, the mass flow rate is changed. If you change, I'm sorry. If you change uh, your productivity as you can see here five thousands so there is many parameters to you you have to deal with okay let's see yes it's, it's increased normal case uh, and surely uh, feed flow rate and so on okay uh, also we have here this is the bombing systems this is the brine blue down this is power, uh, power consumption, bump consumption, district, district, and of course uh, the pressure difference, and uh, the feed feed bump power. Of course, it's relatively high because uh, feed feed field. So top steam temperature are going to assign our pressure, and the pressure is normally around as we indicated before. It's around uh, 0.3. And we are going to assign top steam uh, entropy for the vapor and insulby. This is insulby of the steam. Okay. For this performance block, uh, we can see here, this is the total, total uh, bumping power. It's around 300 uh, uh, kilowatts of power consumption. And we have here exergy inlet. This is exergy inlet uh, of feed stream uh, of steam, exergy of inlet stream uh, related to the steam. And this is exergy of steam outlet in kilowatt, exergy of the feed inlet, exergy of the distillate, exergy of the brine. Uh, uh, this is the total exergy destruction rate. And we here we have uh, cost streams. Uh, it's zero because we are 
not going to assign this because this is related to uh, uh, we are going to assign this uh, in case we are going to combine uh, MED process with other uh, solar thermal power or something like this so uh, there is no need to assign this or it, it's up to the user he can uh, uh, assign it uh, related to his research or uh, research uh, activities uh, okay so uh, it's it's easy to, to run your model uh, let's go to collect our this is some uh, uh, outputs like like area profile as you can see here this is this is area profile uh, brain profile district profile of course we can we can you can choose which type of data you are going to uh, withdraw and this is pressure salinity profile and so on uh, sure you can you can add more uh, data inspections you can add more data for inspection by hitting this button model explorer so you, for brain blue down bomb you can easily uh, uh, choose description and save a final value to the basic space so uh, if you hit this button you will find your value of uh, uh, stored here in this uh, uh, workspace okay this is how to run your uh, MED parallel feed configuration. It's widely used, high gear ratio, collect your data. Okay, uh, don't forget to download solar as a solar organic ranking cycle uh, combined with different MED configurations. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is steam steam ranking cycle with MED parallel feed configuration. With of course this is solar molten salt. To power uh, uh, steam ranking cycle this is solar organic ranking cycle with heat transfer oil and towing uh, related to backward feed this is uh, forward feed this is mechanical vehicle cooperation uh, we have many many of uh, 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 different configurations related to solar thermal power systems uh, thank you very much for uh, your interest we are looking for uh, uh, more cooperation with you don't forget to uh, share your, your, share your uh, knowledge with us uh, thank you very much